Hello, everybody. Well, we have a fair amount of precipitation in the overnight hours. That's pushing off to the east, but you can see this on the approach. A rather rapid approach, actually, for a cutoff low. It is moving off further our way, and it will bring precipitation back into the issue tonight and tomorrow with lower snow levels. So if you're hitting the higher terrain tomorrow morning, Check updates. Here's what we have for today on the coastline. Partly cloudy, the chance of showers mainly late, but it's likely tonight. Lows dropping down to the upper 40s. Western interior valleys, partly cloudy, a chance of some rain very late. Better chance tonight. Now, daytime high is still on the mild side, mid to upper 50s. But overnight lows tonight, 30s to lower 40s. Snow levels dropping to near 4,000 feet, perhaps a little below by the morning hours tomorrow. So we will be accumulating snow on the passes. Cascades, an easy bet. Siskiyou Summit, possibly. East of the Cascades, partly cloudy today. The chance of a shower slight and late now that the main band has moved off to the east. Daytime highs mid to upper 40s, but rain and snow tonight. Lows near enough 32 degrees. Possible accumulations for the early morning hours into the morning hours. Now here's what we have for the extended outlook. Sunday night system has almost vanished. It's uh, mainly coast now, so I'm going to keep it dry Sunday night. Next best chance of precipitation coming in toward the end of next week. So we got a little bit of a dry spell. For the basin, however, we do have that problem in toward the Saturday daytime hours as well with rain and snow showers, but predominantly snow showers. Keep in mind, though, the daytime high in Klamath Falls at 42 degrees. Accumulations may be brief. Northern California, we also have the Friday night, Saturday system. Fairly healthy as far as precipitation. That's especially true in Northern California. And for the coastline, uh, we'll still stick in a slight chance of a shower late Sunday into Sunday night, but that's a very weak system. The dry spell, so to speak, not that prolonged. It will change as we head toward the end of the week, getting back into more active weather.